This is RVTV Adubios. Welcome to English News Broadcast for today, Sunday, September 8, at exactly 10.30 p.m. local time here in Asmara. Coming up are the major headlines for today. President Issa Safwarki visits strategic enterprises in China. Binyam Gurmai places a third in Hamburg Classic. Deadly super typhoon Yagi makes landfall in China. And uh, flooding affects 710,000 people in South Sudan, according to the UN. On your domestic reports, President Issa Safwarki and his delegation visited uh, several strategic enterprises in Shanxi province yesterday. During their visit, they toured the Shanxi Yangling Agricultural Research Center, the China Research Institute on Saving Water and Dry Areas, the Chinese Agricultural High Tech Zone, and the Shanxi Automobile Holding Group companies that are pioneers of the high tech innovation in China. They also visited Longi Green Energy, the world's leading supplier of photovoltaic, of photovoltaic solutions, where they were provided with detailed briefings. President Isaias also met and held discussions with the governor of Shanxi province, Mr. Zhu Gang. Mr. Zhu noted the historical and strategic relations between Eritrea and China and expressed his readiness to implement the agreements reached between President Isaias Afwarki and President Xi Jinping. President Isaias expressing his appreciation for the warm reception accorded to him and his delegation emphasized that the relationship between Eritrea and China spans over 60 years and that China's remarkable development serves as a beacon of hope for the African continent. On your last local report, Eritrean professional rider Binyam Girmay of the Intermarché Wanti team finished the third in today's Hamburg Classic one-day tour. In the race known as the Beamer Classics, which covers 177.5 kilometers, Binyam completed the course without losing time to the race winner, Olav Kuyuj of the team Visma Lisa Bike. Norwegian rider Alexander Kristoff and Belgian rider Jasper Philippens placed the 5th and 7th respectively. This year marks the 27th edition of the Beamer Classics, a UCI 1.0 category race. The viewers will be back shortly with your international reports and more, so please stay tuned. Welcome back. Asia's uh, strongest storm this year, Super Typhoon Yagi, made landfall along the coast of China's Hainan province on Friday, bringing gales and heavy rain which shut schools for a second day and cancelled flights in the South China Sea region. Chinese state broadcaster CCTV showed a video of stormy conditions in Wanchang City in Hainan province when the typhoon made landfall at 4.20 p.m. local time. Packing maximum sustained winds of 234 kilometers per hour near its center, Yagi registers as the second as the world's second most powerful tropical cyclone in 2024 so far after the Category 5 Atlantic Hurricane Beryl and the most severe in the Pacific Basin this year. On today's final report, the ongoing flooding has affected more than 710,000 people across 30 of the 78 countries in South Sudan and the eBay administrative area. The UN Relief Agency said this on Thursday. According to the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, floods caused by heavy rains that began in May have worsened an already critical humanitarian situation marked by severe food insecurity, economic decline, continued conflict, disease outbreaks and the repercussion of the Sudan conflict. Since May, floods have caused extensive damage to homes, crops and critical infrastructure, disrupting education and health services and increasing the risk of disease outbreaks. The agency said this in its flash update released in Juba, the capital of South Sudan. During the meeting attended by senior government officials and key humanitarian leaders, officials emphasized the need for a unified understanding of the crisis, clear priorities and well-defined roles. You're still watching us on Airy TV TV and now recap of the major headlines.
President Xi has sought for a visit strategic enterprises in China. Binyam Gurmai places a third in Hamburg Classic. Deadly super typhoon Yagi makes landfall in China. And flooding affects 710,000 people in South Sudan, according to the UN. That was it for today, dear viewers. Thanks for watching.